Hello, and welcome to The Crawford Family by Jam. So The Crawford Family is described as being a survival horror game in which we're going to try and escape the the wily yet wacky Crawford family who seem to be doing uh, like murder... Murder hillbilly stuff. That 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 old chestnut. It seems will be interacting with with that. Um, okay. Oh well, there's just a slider that does graph. Oh, so I have the graphics to the far right, which I assume uh, when I opened the game, the Unity thing had like ultra high, low, etc. So I'm guessing that these are the settings. Um, it looks like they just add some more polygons, some more shadows as we go higher. So we'll just we'll just keep the the brightness, you know, as high as it goes, I suppose. Let's let's hop in. Let's find out what's up with the Crawford family. Yeah, there's there was a write up on the itch.io page mentioning that the the Crawford family has been. Oh yeah, cool. You can see my cursor. Um, you know, rumors that they're 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 capturing drivers, uh, and that we're we're up, we're we're up for grabs. You know, they they think they can get the better of us, but they'd be wrong. Let's see them get. Mr. Mannequin. Uh, okay, so we can run around. Uh, we can interact. We're, we're, we can... Can we crouch? No, there wasn't a crouch on the, the itch.io thing, but I just... I felt my bones that I, I should I should try to crouch. Um, sprint. Uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm already sprinting, baby. Just holding that thing down. I'm not sure uh, if there's a reason not to just always be sprinting. I don't see a stamina meter. Uh, there is something in the top right corner. I think that might be like the game saving. Uh, this is the outside. Hmm. Not sure if we should be closing doors uh, to hide our presence. Not sure if that is a feature in this game. Don't seem to be able to close the door. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure if running will uh, is louder and will will uh, draw the Crawfords tor towards us. Not exactly sure what to expect other than it's survival horror. Uh, we don't seem to have a means of uh, defending ourselves. We also don't seem to have a means of closing door. Can I close the door if I'm on the other side? Yeah, if we're on the other side. No, I can just open the door uh, in the other direction. Okay, so what's in, what's in this room? There seem to be some pictures of. Okay, so it's it's, it's like I, I thought it, there were like pictures of like victims, but there's a door back there. So I'm guessing the idea is maybe these are the Crawfords, and as we do stuff to uh, defeat them, whatever that means uh, in this scenario, they will uh, like maybe the the thing will unlock, and that's how we escape uh, in the end. There's a note here. Uh, dear Mr. Crawford, you're safe now. Oh, we're safe. Oh, so that's the security system. Hmm, okay, so that's a, that's a security system. All right, a security system that seems to be dependent on the the families being, like, defeated. Like, like it's a security system. Like, you can't interact with the door unless your family's defeated. And, you know, if you stay inside behind locked doors, then you can never be defeated. It's the ultimate security system. The ultimate in safety. One, you know, of course, you know, Mr. Crawford, you know, he, he wants to protect his family. He's going to do right by his family. He's going to get the best security system he can. You know, I didn't I didn't expect the, the locked gate looking door uh, to let us in. But, you know, you got to try. What is this stuff? I'm assuming it's foliage of some sort. But the, but the way it moves and what I assume is wind makes it look like it might be pulsating. Um, so a little, little uncomfortable with this foliage. Uh, can I get around here? Yeah, I can get around here. There's a gate over here. L looks electrified. That's actually a really nice effect for like electricity. Uh, that that's what I'm assuming is happening there. I enjoyed that effect. Looks pretty good. In fact, uh, you know, I hadn't mentioned it up to this point, but I like the aesthetic of this game. Uh, it's a very, very nice looking. Uh, you know, low poly. Uh, I like the the mannequin face. Uh, we can interact. I'm guessing if we pull that, that would uh, let the uh, electric, you know, undo the electric gate, and then we could get by. We've yet to see any Crawfords. I wonder if that's just because I've been lucky and I haven't avoid, or I've just happened to avoid them. Uh, if perhaps I haven't done the thing that like spawns them into the world, not entirely sure. But we've explored what seems to be the entirety of what the world has to offer for us. Let's go ahead and pull this. Does that undo the gate? Seems to have undone the gate. The gate doesn't lead to the outside, does it? Now, no, that'd be too easy. You know, one. Oh, hey, that's a that's a man with a chainsaw, and I probably ran. Oh shoot, that was he is much faster, and that is a super long chainsaw. Um, damn, he is fast. Oh, luckily there was an auto save there. Um, yeah, damn, what what was I supposed to do? The dude is so super quick. Um, perhaps running in here was the wrong idea, because I'm not sure how we were gonna get away. Um, 
Oh, am I supposed to come in here, grab a... Oh, it's broken. Damn, I thought that we were going to go full Resident Evil 7 and have to do chainsaw battle with them. Uh, which, you know, I'm, I'm all for now. I'm not sure how he managed to catch up to us so quickly before. Uh, now he seems to be moving at about our pace. I wonder if it has something to do with just the direction I went. Maybe, uh, maybe I lingered for a moment and just didn't notice. Uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to go that way and the game is programmed in such a way uh, to make him like auto get you uh, if you go the wrong way. I cannot drive this. So I'm sort of stuck. Oh, I wish I could drive. Oh, he, he can push it out of the way. He, he's a powerful man, Mr. Mr. Crawford. Uh, I mean, I guess we don't know the entirety of the family, assuming it's Mr. Crawford, because yeah, I, I've, I've now made the Resident Evil 7 connection in my head. Uh, and um, oh boy, I don't remember. I don't remember the the dad's name in that game, but you know, he had, he had the big scary chainsaw. So now I've just made that connection in my head. So, okay, so he's gonna come in. Uh, luckily we can see him in the distance. We're gonna, you know, do a little ring around the Rosie. Uh, you know, talk a little posies. Uh, and it does seem like the ashes, ashes, we all fall down. They end up being, you know, I wanted to just lead him around so we could uh, get some distance between us. Uh, come in here. Uh, oh, no, dang, yeah, he seemed to have some kind of I'm not sure if he just moves faster than us, uh, or perhaps he, he either moves faster than us, has some kind of dash move, so I shouldn't be running straight. I'm guessing he has some kind of dash move, and I just shouldn't be running straight. Yeah, he comes out of the barn, so we are going to just, you know, lead him on a little ring around the rosy, uh, as, as I have, as, as I want to do, you know, I don't want him to get after us. Gonna have to do a little bit of serpentine, uh, nope. Gonna, oh shoot he can cut down that that's actually super cool um that he was uh, just cut that down um I'm, I'm sure that you know there's just a few things that the game has programmed to allow him to uh, just like cut like that that was neat and i'm just gonna go oh no hmm. i okay i'm guessing that the game is designed in such a way that that he just kind of gets you if you go the wrong way quote unquote um so perhaps maybe uh we should be uh, interacting with him more uh, in the area with the broken chainsaw or uh, the vehicle that we can't drive. Uh, perhaps there's keys somewhere in the area that I've overlooked. There is a door. Door is locked. Uh, he can cut down this. Am I supposed to like maybe lead him around, make him like fall into it? Is that the idea? Like maybe I only have a one chance to like make him cut it down in such a way that he gets himself. Maybe I just need to lead him around, make him cut down a few things. Uh, not entirely sure. Was it Jack? Was it Jack? Oh, there were the Baker family in Resident Evil 7, but I don't remember if Jack was... Y yeah, I think... I, think I, I don't know. That was not, not important. We're playing we're playing this game, not Resident Evil 7. You know, it, it has the same thing of, like, you know... I mean, Resident Evil 7 obviously didn't invent the, the murder here. But like, that was a, a pretty uh, common trope. Um, oh, the, the, the big one I can think of was, like, the, the Hills Have Eyes. I'm not sure if the, the Hills Have Eyes... There's no way the Hills Have Eyes was the, the first one, you know? There, there's probably always been the murder, the, mur the murder hillbilly. That's just the one that I could think was big, the one that probably popularized it. Um, so what do we need to do here? I made him cut down both of these uh, electrical uh, things. Uh, oh nope, he's gonna get me. Um, there is a wire over there that I would like to pull. I'm guessing the idea of making him cut down these things is to make him have to like go. Nope, he he went around in a way that I did not like. Uh, so we just need to lead him on a little bit of a, a rigmarole, uh, you know get him stuck there hope he doesn't get us just to give us some time come over here interact with this wire not entirely sure how long we need to interact with the wire um oh that electrified uh the playing field uh which yeah okay so so we got him once we got him uh he he won What happened? So did he electrocute himself? And then the, the chainsaw just went like nutso when like sliced into pieces? Is, is that what happened? Um, well, I mean, we won. We, we bested uh, Crawford, uh, you know, using our wits, <laughs> pressing some buttons, running around, getting cut in half several times. You cannot drive this. I mean, I, w I wish we could. Uh, it's an interesting vehicle. It's not even like a lawn mower. I've never seen a lawn mower uh, sort of vehicle with just blades on the front. Um, assuming that's a, a Crawford, uh, uh, you know, original that they designed. Okay, so we, we, we've done away with with one of, I believe there were three locks on that door. So we've done away with one of the Crawfords. We seem to be entering a basement. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be a labyrinth where perhaps we'll be end up being chased again kind of weird hole do not want to go into the weird hole those are bear traps i was like what are these but no 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 bear traps 
So this is going to be interesting. We're probably going to get chased at some point and have to run around in such a way that we avoid uh, bear trapping ourselves while probably trying to lead um, Crawford uh, numero dos into uh, a bear trap. And, you know, we're going to hoist them by their own petard, assuming that they set the bear... Oh, well, I can't run into the hole. I, um, <clears throat> I controlled myself in such a way that I would have ended up in the hole. But I didn't end up in the hole. So, you know, it's all good. Is Crawford going to be on the other side of the door? Nope, we're, we're good. Do not, are not being chased just yet. Um, is this a location we've already been in? I, I, heard, I heard a noise outside my, my actual window. I was like, ooh, that game audio is so immersive. But no, no, I'm pretty sure that was just a noise that happened outside my real window. Um, another button push here. Oh, it's grain. So it's just a silo of grain. Interesting can't push that one though I'm, hmm. I'm assuming we're going to end up being chased back to that underground uh, labyrinth or perhaps that underground uh the little uh, it's not much of a labyrinth it's a very small maze i'm guessing that, that that basement is going to be important at some point before i open or before i mess with that let's open this cannot open this so if i had to just hazard a little gas i'm gonna push this button door is gonna open a lady with big uh Sickles, it would seem. So let's just go ahead and get the. Uh, get, I was gonna say get the run on. Not typically the way you would say that. Oh damn, she is fast. Those are huge ass sickles. They're not even like. I mean, would you still call that a sickle? Is a sickle blade like in that that way? I'm not entirely sure. Do not have the 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 weapon know how to to say whether uh, that is a sickle or not. Oh, which door is it? It's this one over here. <clears throat> Uh, because when I think of sickle, I think of them being more like hooks than like swords. Um, so perhaps this is like some kind of curved sword uh, rather than a sickle. Uh, oh, damn, is the gate closed? Yeah, the gate's closed. Okay, I'm going to need to go uh, back and open some doors because um, uh, Miss Miss Crawford, we can assume maybe maybe uh, Grandma Crawford. Don't know don't know the family dynamics. I didn't I didn't uh, spend very long uh, inspecting the doors. Um, however. Or, or not the the doors, not 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 like there were multiple and or I was referring to the band, but instead you know the door, the, the the big cool security system, the ultimate security system that as long as nobody is on your property, you're safe, baby, because you know it's just like as long as your family isn't you know defeated and or murdered, um you know this this one's in self defense, so we we are we are in the right and just uh in in the eyes of the law, um not that the law all matters all that much who who gives a shit about the law um. The Crawfords sure don't, so we're just going to go ahead and make our way away. Make our way away from uh, Miss Crawford. Uh, hopefully we can get away. Mm -hmm. I was hoping we could get away now that uh, now that we had the, the doors open, but perhaps uh, the doors being closed uh, was was uh, a sign of maybe that wasn't uh, the, the thing that we were supposed to do to defeat her. Can I interact with the button again? No. Oh, I can't interact with the button again. It's not like... Well, I mean, it could pour more grain, potentially. Um, grain, corn, not exactly sure. Um, not, not exactly sure what's supposed to be happening here. Maybe maybe this one's a quickie. Um, I mean, we could have defeated uh, a Mr. Crawford a little bit, bit faster uh, as well. But perhaps all we need to do here is push this button, run out, uh, and then we run over here. Maybe this button's active now. No. Oh, oh, hmm. Because yeah, she seems to automatically get us when we go through the uh, through that gate, so I'm guessing it's the same thing that was happening with a. Uh, I almost said Jim Crawford. I don't know why that. Hmm? Hey. Hmm? Oh, I don't know. Um, but you know, Mr. Crawford had that thing where he would kind of push us away from locations we weren't supposed to go to. Uh, so perhaps it's a similar thing uh, happening here. Maybe. Uh, well, I was hoping maybe that door had unlocked itself. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to be doing here. Because uh, we... Hmm. If I run to the gate over there, she gets me. If I run in here, none of the buttons I seem to push seem to do anything. Unless I was supposed to not push the, the grain. Maybe in pushing the grain button, I've, I've screwed myself. Like, perhaps you're supposed to drop grain on her. Uh, and I've, 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 I've messed myself up. I do seem to, if I come over here... If I come over here, run down here, yeah, we the, the game auto saves. We saw it in the corner, uh, so we can start over here. So now, whenever she murders me, uh, we can start over there and try to drop grain on her. But what I am going to try and do this time, uh, you know, last thing we can try before trying. Oh shoot, you're already active. I'm not exactly sure why you were already active, but you were. 
Because what I wanted to try that time was to try and run behind her into her door, which I assume wouldn't have worked. Um, I assume that would have... Oh, damn, the grain uh, happened again. How do I make the grain unhappen? Um, please, grain, go away. Because I want to I wanna spill, I wanna spill grain on Miss Crawford. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of uh, to defeat her at the moment. Now she's now she's just coming out of the damn thing uh, way too quick. And there doesn't seem to really be a good point to ring around the rosy her. Um, oh, nothing. I thought I might have gotten it. Uh, heck, she's very good. Like she doesn't actually have to swing to get us. We just run into her blade. What we're got now? Damn. The, the I want the I want the um. Oh, yeah, we, we pushed a thing that would have allowed us to get past here. Huh. So this is the area we're supposed to come into. All right, so we're supposed to lead her out here into the field. Uh, and I was just, I guess, screwing around, um, I suppose. Um, we can see some bear traps. So I'm guessing the idea is we're going to lead her out here and try and bear trap her. What do these buttons do? Button pours grain. Okay, so seeing the bear trap in the basement wasn't like a, it's time to fight. It was like a... Hey, we're going to teach you what you need to do, or, or you know, give you some heads up about what what you may need to do. Uh, and pushing the button with the grain, also, you know, a thing. Is she still active? Yeah, she's still active. Let's piss her off. Yeah, we pissed her off, and now let's run. I didn't even think about that. I was like, oh yeah, there was the gate over here. Dude, just totally forgot about it. So let's go ahead and just dart around some bear traps. Um, although I'm guessing that she'll be very good about avoiding the bear trap. Um, and or she can just push the bear trap out of her way. Um, maybe we can make her walk on it. Yeah, we, we, we made her step on it, but she's not like dead. It didn't kill her. Yeah, she's just, she's just dragging the bear, bear trap around now. Yeah, the bear trap just stuns her for a moment. Uh, so what should we be doing here? Um, do we need, can, can we push the bear traps? I, you can push. Oh, it, it does say you can push this. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, she, she just killed us. Throughout. So we can push this. We were told we can push it. So perhaps the idea here is we're supposed to plan ahead of time, which I don't think that makes sense because we had to push that button. We had to push the button to um, to make her come out. We had to push the button to uh, like unlock this area. So I don't think that we're supposed to like pre-plan this. Um, I'm guessing. I'm guessing if I step on it this way, yeah, 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 uh, because I would like to push it up that way. Uh, maybe if I push it along the handle, uh, we won't be uh, splatted. Yeah, because we, we shouldn't have the time to pre-plan this, because the button that frees her, I assume, is the button. Uh, the button that we push that lets her out also unelectrified the, the gate over here. So I don't think that you're supposed to have the time to pre-plan this. This is just the kind of thing that you got to run away from her. Because I'm guessing the idea is, since we, we made her hit, we got her hit with a bear trap before, that we're just supposed to like lead her into one of these grain silos uh, with the bear trap under it, then push the button. Uh, I'll go ahead and just line up another one if I can. Uh, just just for, actually we won't, we won't be able to push this one that way since we can only push it. Uh, in the direction that the handle is, so we wouldn't be able to push it. Based on the direction, y'all probably understand what I'm trying to say. Um, based on the direction of the handle, we wouldn't be able to push it up here, um, rather than trying to, to say more words and explain it, even though I, I don't think I have the words to explain it. So, don't think we we're supposed to be able to pre-plan this, but hey, the game has given me an inch, and when you're given an inch, you take just that inch and only that inch. It's the famous saying, only take the inches that you were given. Uh, you know, don't, don't, don't do a mile. Okay, so we're gonna yeah, piss her off, and then we'll run away uh, to our, our field. I was gonna say our field of safety. We're not exactly safe here. It's just we have a we have a fighting chance here um, at, at, at doing the damn thing, and that's not actually exactly where I want it to be. Um, also, she will. She will push the thing, but I believe we've trapped her. Yeah, there we go. We got her. It looks like there's one more. Looks like a person in a hat. Hard to say uh, what that means, but we just pour some grain on her and she dies. I mean, I've never, obviously, I've never been poor, had grain poured on me. I'm assuming the idea is that it's very, uh, you know, there's a lot of it. The volume, the weight it crushed her. Um, but I also, uh, as, a, as, a, as a wee lad, watched a lot of DuckTales and was led to believe that you could swim through coins. So who's to say what exactly happened there? But that was nice that they showed like the little like, oh, some bear traps uh, and the, the grain pushing thing that kind of like 
seed the idea into your mind like oh these are things that we could interact with uh and so we should be ready for it and also kind of like uh not not like jump scared me but like you know made me like prepare in advance like the anticipation started to build because i was like oh someone's gonna come out and get us in this basement but no 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 the basement was just the basement was just the taste test you know the hell kind of trees are these they're very tall and then the it's like they're almost like evergreens um i think evergreens are the figs figs i don't think they're i don't think they're called figs furs fur is the word i'm looking for but i don't believe furs or evergreens whatever i'm not I, I don't i don't know trees i live in texas i don't believe they have long uh trunks i was trying to remember the the word for trunk and i was gonna say shaft but i'm like it's not you don't call it the shaft of the tree uh the trunk was what I was looking for. oh hey it it's a gardener and they get to use the scary lawnmower that we saw previously. Now, the thing is, there's some very clearly explosive barrels here. <laughs> that that boop boop was like such a like a video game ass. Like, ah, oh, I've the, the boss has been hurt and I loved every second of it. Now, I'm also glad that, that explosion at such close range uh, did not harm us. Boop boop. Oh no, the boop boop wasn't like it got hurt. It's honking at us and it just so happened to happen at the same time that it got hurt. What? It does not want to hit these. It hit that, that first pair, but now the gardener's being a little bit more careful uh, with it. its maneuvering. It does not want to run into the... Actually, I think it's a different colored hat. I believe, I believe the hat in the picture was black, but this one's like a like yellow straw hat uh, thing. Don't want to run into there because we know we know the Crawfords. They have an incredible ability to to speed towards you uh, if you go into a place that they don't want. As long as we face them and you know what their their soul is bound to, like a arena of sorts, we'll be fine. Now the the gardeners being uh, there we go a little bit smart ah, they were being a little bit smarter but not smarter than old me me was smarter in the end now will this conveniently loop us back to a uh, previous area that we saw oh yeah, yeah because the 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 gardener like bust out of the, the thing like very very scary like uh you know giving us a nice uh, loop uh around now we only saw the three the, th the three crawfords on the door uh but you know three you know the family's you know, in fiction and stuff, tend to come in fours. So I assume that we're not out of the, not out of the, the the water just yet. I assume that there's probably a bit more. I assume Gardner Crawford wasn't the last Crawford. Oh, game's fading to black. You managed to eliminate the Crawford family and leave their property. You return to your company, to your company truck with a sigh of relief, knowing you're, you've lived to see another day. While their spirits were broken, yours remained resilient. Driving off, you look at the property and smirk, knowing... A promotion is soon to come. Oh yeah, because we were like a delivery driver, and they were like getting delivery drivers. Um, so hey, that was super cool. I really enjoyed Crawford Family. You know, it was it was a short little thing. Um, you know, very. Uh, you know, I I, I drew the, the the comparison to Resident Evil Seven with their 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 very scary. Uh, you know, hillbilly family. Um, you know, same kind of idea. You know, the hit like you know I mentioned already. It's scary hillbillies have been a thing for for a long long time and they will probably continue to be uh in, in fiction i mean there hasn't really i don't think there's been a big like scary hillbilly movie uh in a while like there was a what's the name of that movie like dale and tucker versus evil or something where it was like the the joke was they were just like normal guys but the the like the teenagers were like no they're scary hillbillies um i remember that movie being funny but that i also watched a couple years ago so who who knows who knows um, but I really enjoyed this game. It was a fun, fun little experience. I enjoyed besting the Crawfords, even though, um, you know, Mr. and Miss Crawford bested me several times before I beat them. But Gardner, I had Gardner down. I saw video game explosive barrels and immediately knew how to best the Gardner. So in your face, Gardner Crawford. So that was the Crawford family. Uh, once again, link in the description. Uh, it's a pay, a p name your price, pay whatever you want. Uh, but you know, throw them, a, throw them a couple bucks. It's a fun little experience. Uh, I enjoyed it greatly. Uh, so this is the Crawford family. Bye, Jam.